Hi, this is Happy Bird from Happy Bird's Glitter Nest blogspot.com and today I'm going to show you how to make this super simple little um, coffee tag. This is a pick-me-up tag and it has a couple of sticks of coffee in here. And a pick-me-up tag is something that you make for someone that um, you feel needs a little pick-me-up in their day. You can give this to, you know, your favorite um, uh, waitress, your the mailman, co-workers, um, use this as a random act of kindness gift. There's a lot of different things that you can use this for. Now this is a coffee themed one, so that's why I put these little coffee sticks in here. But if you would like, you could also purchase little $5 gift cards from uh, your favorite coffee shop. Now this isn't a coffee shop tag, but we're going to pre- gift card I mean <laughs> but um, we're gonna pretend it is okay I just wanted to show you how you can slip that in there and I do have a free pattern for this little uh, coin size or gift card size envelope here so um, I'll give that link to you down below in the show more drop down bar as well as on my blog so there's a lot of different ways you can do this but um, stick with me and um, I'll show you how to make this. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. This came from the Dollar Tree as well as this cream and gold chevron print um, ribbon and um, this was basically made out of cardboard and paper bags so um, stay with me and I'll show you how I put everything together. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need is you're going to need to print out my extra large tag pattern and I'll put that link down below in the show more drop down bar as well as on my blog. So you're going to need one of these tags. I'll set this aside and I'm just going to rough cut it fairly close to the line, like so. And then I'm going to take a piece of nice uh, cardboard and I, I like to use the um, boxes from the bulk food items that you can buy at Costco. And my daughter-in-law saves most of those for me because I have little use for bulk food items. <laughs> um, let's see. Oh yeah. I'm going to take a little bit of this double-sided scotch tape. Put a tiny bit right here. Just like that. And then do that. And the reason why we're doing that is it kind of... Uh, helps you as you're cutting it so um, it doesn't move around on you and I made nice straight lines for you so you'll have a clean cut here and some nice cardboard um, that you can get is from the Capri Sun juice uh, boxes as well as some dog food boxes that you know um, some places carry them in bulk okay let me move all this stuff out of the way Right, and now you're going to have to poke out this little hole here. And just do the best you can. And then this comes right off. <clears throat> so now we have the tag. So I picked up a roll of brown craft paper, spelled K-R-A-F-T, and it was a, quite a large roll. And I got it at the Dollar Tree. And basically, it it looks like um, a paper bag, and you know that's what you wrap your packages in to send them off in the mail. 
So I took a, a piece of the craft paper and I'm just going to wad it up as tightly as I can and undo it and then wad it up again as tightly as I can. Open it up and then I'm going to do it a third time. And I'm doing this to give the paper some texture. Now you don't have to do your tag exactly like mine. This is I'm just giving you ideas so you can have um, a starting point to do your own tags. And it also makes it much softer and much more pliable. So I think that looks pretty good. I'm going to do this, spread it out. Then I'm going to take my Elmer's Craft Bond Glue and the Extra Strength. And I found this at Walmart. And I'm just going to put quite a bit of this on here. And I like this Elmer's Craft Bond a lot better than I do the regular Elmer's glue stick. Because this is just a lot more tackier and it doesn't seem to dry as quickly so it gives you a little a little bit of time to move things around if you need to on your crafts so now I'm just going to place this on here like so and well now if you want to let it dry you can I'm just going to cut this right away just to save time. Okay, so this is what we have for the front. Now we're going to have to poke that little hole right here. fairly easily. I want to pull that off. Okay, so this is the front and we're going to do the exact same thing to the back, okay? So I'll do that off camera, the back, and then I'll come back and we'll do the rest. Okay, so now I did both sides as you can see. And if you need to go around the edges here just to make sure everything is is pinned down like this part isn't you can go back in with your glue stick like so just to do the edges and make sure everything is down tight because there are places where you might have missed and it's just a good idea okay and of course you gotta let this dry sorry I got some glue on my fingers All right. All right. make sure this is glued down so I think yeah, I'm back here Just allow it time to dry. Okay. I didn't get it very well on the edges. Okay. Okay. So that looks pretty good. And we'll give that a couple of minutes to dry or I should say a few minutes, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so the main thing to remember is when you're putting your glue stick on here, pay more attention to the edges than anything else. I mean, I'm not saying not to pay attention to the inside, but pay special attention 
to the outside edges. So um, I wanted to show you this. This isn't necessary, but it's just something I wanted to show you. I have this little eyelet pliers here, and I bought these at Harbor Freight. And they were hanging up in a package along with all of these little eyelets, and I paid less than $5 for this. Now this was at least a year ago, maybe a year and a half ago, when I bought this. But I thought it would add a little special touch to this. So I decided I was going to take one of the little copper eyelets that it came with. And you can see there's quite a few in this bag, and I have used some out of there. And this is what I did. I just put the little eyelet like that, turned it over, holding it, and you can see this is sticking up like that. Then I took my pliers and I took the part with um, the little knob right here, and I put that knob right in the middle of that eyelet that's sticking out. And then I just squeezed really hard like that, and it set the eyelet. And I think it really gives it an added touch. And for under $5 to get the pliers plus the eyelets, I thought that was a really good deal at Harbor Freight. So the next thing that we're going to do is you can either put um, some gold paint around the edges with um, an 18 karat gold leafing pen or you can use a metallic gold paint pen or even a brown paint pen and if you don't have these you can take your ink pad and open it up and just kind of wipe the edges like that you know it's it's all up to you and what you decide to do and I think I'm going to use my um, my gold leafing pen today so I pumped it up a little bit to get it started and I'm just doing this along the edge just to give it a little added touch I don't know if you can see that or not and they also have a silver leafing pen You can get it at Michael's, and I'm sure they would have it on eBay too, but you'll probably pay a little more for it. I always use my coupons whenever I picked up any of these pens, and they last for a long time if you store them correctly. Okay. So I'm just going to kind of wave that around, wait for it to dry, or at least for it to be a little, a little drier than it is now. Okay. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the designs that we're going to use for this little tag here. Now I bought this placemat, this vinyl placemat at the Dollar Tree and as you can tell I've already cut out a few of the pieces like that and I counted 31 of these little signs on this one placemat from the Dollar Tree and I thought they were really cute they have a lot of cute little sayings on them and so that's what gave me the idea for the pick-me-up tag that I made or that I'm making um, with the coffee theme. So I cut this out that says cafe, espresso, latte, coffee tastes better when shared. And after I cut it out, which was very easy to cut the vinyl placemat, you don't have to do this, but it's usually white hair on the side. 
I mean, it's not a big deal if you don't, but what I did was I just ran my marker like that all the way around the edges so it would be gold instead of white. And I'll show you what I mean when I say white. If you can see the placemat, you can see the edge right here is white when you cut it out. It, it's not a big deal, but that's just if you want to. Okay, so I'll set this aside. And so what I did to begin um, thinking about what I'm going to put on my tag is I went into my closet and I tried to find things that were mm, basically the same colors as um, coffee and also this this tag here. And so I went into my ribbons first and I found this dark brown <clears throat> grow grain ribbon. So I pulled that out and just because um, you pull it out doesn't mean you have to use it but at least you'll kind of know what you have to work with. And then I saw this. I picked this up at the Dollar Tree the other day. They had these in blue and gold. I mean a light blue and gold. Pink and gold. And this cream color with gold. And I thought it went really well with this. So I pulled this out too. And then I went into my button jar. And I chose three buttons that I thought looked really well with um, this little coffee tag here. So it saves to save your button. <laughs> and then I got an idea when I was going through my craft drawers looking for stuff. I came across these filigree metal connectors. I thought I wonder if I could do something with these as well. So I took this out and I have an idea for this. I measured it and I think it was 48. Let me double check this. This is 48 millimeters but you could use anything from 40 millimeters to 50 millimeters as far as um, the metal filigrees go. And I also have a link to a gal that I've purchased these filigrees um, off of before and she's a good seller. She's and I'll go ahead and put the, her link below in the show more drop down bar. So to begin with I decided that I was going to take this brown ribbon and I already cut a piece of this. And I'm just going to kind of lay everything out. So I'm going to lay this out first and then my idea with this metal stamping was that I would cut it in half like this to look like a triangle. So I'm going to take my, my old scissors to do this, not my good ones. And I'm just going to cut these. These are thin enough where you can do that. Okay. And I'll save this half. And then I'll just straighten this out. And I think I'm going to take my flat nose pliers and kind of squeeze the edges flat because sometimes they're slightly curved with certain designs. So I thought this would be a good idea to do that. And lay it down here to make sure it's completely flat. Okay. <clears throat> so this is how I wanted to lay this out. Lay that here and then cut this piece of ribbon, cutting it slightly longer than the tag itself. Figured I might be able to layer this.
And then I thought maybe place that here. And then let's see. Maybe with the buttons, let me, let me move this up a little bit. I have no fingernails, so it's hard to kind of pick up stuff sometimes. <laughs> This would look pretty cute, just like that. If I wanted to, I could probably add another ribbon down below here and then put the buttons on, but I don't know if that would look too busy or not. Or just plain strange. <laughs> so I'm trying to picture what it would look like. Um, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. I might end up doing that. So I'm just going to cut a little piece of this off as well. Alright. Now for the for the top here, I'm just going to take my your bonder glue gun and I'm, I don't need a ton of glue I'm just putting it in places that I know will help tack it down a little I mean it's not super important that you get every little tiny spot because this will be enough to tack it down and I'll put it close to the top there. About like so. Okay, just like that. And then next I'm going to take this. And I'm not going to use my hot glue gun. Because if I put my hot glue right here, then put the ribbon on, you're going to see a lump right across here underneath this ribbon. And I don't want that. You could use the Tombow liquid glue here, dries clear, or I think you could also use the Fast Grab Tacky Glue by Aileen's. This is just a tiny little sample bottle, but they have these in the larger ones. So I'm going to take a little bit of this Tombow clear glue. this right on top like so okay and I'm going to allow this to dry and the reason why is because I want to be able to adhere this to this and then cut off the ends so I don't want anything wet or anything like that um, when I'm cutting it off so I'll give this a chance to dry a little and then I'll show you the rest. Okay, so I'm going to measure this about three inches because that's pretty much what this is across here. So I'll cut it from that point on. And I'm thinking it's probably about here. So Try to cut this straight and I'll set this here. Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and just lay this on top of the other one to measure that cut as well. It's an easy way of doing it. Ok, 
Okay. So I'm thinking probably about here that I'll want to set the ribbon. So I'm just going to take a little pencil here. Kind of give me an idea to remember that I want to set those this ribbon in between these two points. Take some more of my Tom Blue. Tom blue. <laughs> Tombow glue. And place this right in between here. And I can always, you can either erase these marks or just leave them. I'm going to leave them because. I'm going to set this over here anyway, so they're not going to know the difference. And um, so before, well, I guess I can kind of measure it. But before I actually glue it, yeah, I think I'll just go ahead and put that there first. Sorry about that, I was thinking out loud. I do that quite often. I talk to myself too. <laughs> Make sure the arrows are going the same way. And I'm going to set this down here in between those two points. That'll dry clear. Okay, now I wanted to talk to you a little bit about this. <clears throat> With this, you're not going to want to put hot glue in the back because this is vinyl. And if you put hot glue in the back, this top part will kind of melt or become a little warped in places. So you're going to want to use the foam mounting tape. And I bought all of this at the Dollar Tree. And this is wonderful stuff. It's really super sticky. So um, this is just a good thing to have. If you have a Dollar Tree around you, you can pick this up. So I will be back and um, we'll get started on the rest. Okay, so with the foam mounting tape, this is pretty easy. I'm just going to take some pieces. You can cut these down if you want, or you can leave them this size. Actually, I shouldn't have... Well, yeah, that's okay to do that, I guess. And I'm just... Placing these, it's pulling off some of the glue I got, or not glue, but paint I got on my hands. So, if you're wondering what those marks are, that's what it is. And you probably don't even need this much as far as the mounts to go on here, but I just like everything in its place. Guaranteed that it's not going to come off. Right here. So just hold it over that till you find the spot you want. Oop, I laid this in the paint by accident. Well, actually, that doesn't look too bad. Alright, so just kind of hover over where you want it and then. Press it down when you're ready. I think I want it about here. Yeah, like that. And let's see if I'll probably see if I can get that off with a with a little baby wipe or something like that. So hold on. Okay, so maybe that'll come off since this is vinyl. 
Well, well, that's okay. Doesn't look too bad, does it? Is that that noticeable? All right. So the next thing we're going to do is put on the little buttons. So <clears throat> I want to place this button, the lightest one, in the middle. And I'm going to put hot glue around the holes, but not directly on the holes, just around it. That looks pretty good so far. What do you think? Okay, let me lift this up a little bit. We're almost finished with this. Put my mounting tape in here. <clears throat> and I have some this yarn. It's called Sugar and Cream Twists. It's kind of a, a nice green color. And so I'm just going to pull the length of this out. I thought this would kind of go nice with this. So I'm going to fold this in half. Like that. And now I think I'll put this in from the back. And then slip this through. Like that. Now I'm going to take and make two bunny ears. And just tie it. Pull it. Pull it. Pull it. Just until it looks pretty good. Okay, let me put this camera up a little. Yeah. So then we have it like that. Now we have one last thing to do on this, and this is very easy to do. I made a pattern for you for a small coin envelope. And so I'll give you the link so you can print that out below. Uh, well, it's it'll be down below in the drop-down bar, but you can print it out. And we'll fold it, glue it right on the back, and then we'll add our little um, instant coffee sticks. And you can find a lot of nice stuff like this at Ross uh, for less money than what you would pay in the grocery store. And if you're really on a budget, I believe they have the Taster's Choice coffee at Dollar Tree in the little packets, but you can let me know how that tastes down below in the drop-down bar. I've never tried it. And with these, since they're so tall, we'll just tape down the top and the ends with tape, and that way it will fit perfectly. But this will be really finished by the... I mean, this will be really cute by the time we're finished. So, um... We'll do that next. We'll make the little coin envelope in the back. 
Now for the back of this gift tag, we're going to place a um, coin envelope or a gift card envelope on the back and you can either buy it like this and just attach it to the back with the Elmer's craft bond and this is what is going to hold your little pick-me-up and if you don't want to order these I do have a pattern for you that you can cut out with regular scrapbook paper or um, just computer paper too. It, it all depends on what type of paper you want to use. They also have these in bulk on Amazon in um, white and other colors as well as eBay. So I'm going to go ahead and and use this pattern for today just to show you guys in case you um, decide that you want to make your own instead of buying it. Okay? So I took some more of this paper that we used here, this craft paper, and um, I'm going to make the little um, pick-me-up envelope out of that. So the first thing I'm going to do is just kind of rough cut this like so. And I'll give you the link down below in the show more drop down bar to this free pattern that I made as well as on my blog. Okay. So now I'm going to take a little piece of double sided tape, just a tiny piece put it in the middle, just enough to tack this down to where I can cut on the solid lines around here. So, I'm going to do that, just like so. shaking tonight. <laughs> so well that just proves if an old shaky grandma like me can do this, then you can certainly do this. Okay. So we have this cut out. And I'm just going to take this off, like so. And the first thing we're going to do is just fold the bottom flap and the top flap and uh, the side flaps. So, and then with a little Elmer's Craft Bond glue and the extra strength, I'm just going to put some on the edge here and then fold that over. And then the smaller part here is the bottom. So, put some glue on that and then fold this like so. 
<clears throat> so now you have a little envelope. And of course, allow this to dry before you put anything in here. But I did want to show you, this is a old gift card, that a gift card can fit in here perfectly. See? Now there's a lot of different pick-me-ups you can use, but since this is a coffee-themed coffee one, we're going to go with um, coffee sticks. So I'm going to turn this over and put some glue all over this. With the exception of the flap part, you don't want to put glue on that. And then I'm just going to glue this on right here in the middle. Okay. And it's really important you give it that drawing time before putting this on here. I'm just doing this now just because of the time issue. Now we're going to put in a couple of these little coffee sticks, but we're going to have to tape this back and this back to put it in here because I don't want this to be taller than the tag. So um, let me get my regular scotch tape and I'll be back. Okay, so. Just going to take a couple of small pieces of regular scotch tape and tape this down. Slide this in like that. You can keep the flap open. This has a little tear in it, but um, it's, it's not that somebody opened it, it just kind of came that way. So I think uh, it kind of gave you a head start there <laughs> on opening it. So you can give somebody this little pick-me-up tag. This would be a really cute gift for co-workers as well, um, as church members, um, club members, or even if you want to give someone this to give them a little pick-me-up, maybe the mailman or your favorite waitress. So um, I thought this turned out pretty cute. And even though this is coffee themed, um, you can make this pick-up tag in a variety of different ways and uh, you know I'd like to see some of your own creations so please come and um, join my Facebook group at Happy Birds Glitter Nest and I'll put my link down below um, I'd love to see what you do with these pick-me-up tags you can also use these as kind of uh, random acts of kindness tags where you know you hand per a person something like this um, in the grocery store that you think is having a tough day. Uh, so, you know, um, give me your ideas and share them. I'd love to hear them. So, thank you so much for watching this video and staying with me. And God bless each and every one of you. Take care. Bye-bye.